Welcome, sports fans. Western Big Six Girls Basketball. This is a Family Ties production. Jim Sanders with Jess Medina here tonight. Morton Fieldhouse, Moline, Illinois. We're back at it again. We've been over on the, the Iowa side doing some boys games, and we're here tonight for a big girls basketball matchup, Western Big Six style. Uh, we've got the Alleman Pioneers who are coming into this ball game with a 19 and eight record, four and four in the Western Big Six. Had a little chance to talk to Coach Jay Hatch before the ball game and asked for a couple quick comments on what he thought was gonna happen in the ball game tonight and how his girls were gonna be able to handle a, a, a very, very good Moline team. He started off, he said, well, we'll, we'll pray. And you know what, that's, you know, that's never a real bad idea, no matter which team you're for or, or even if you're not for either team. But anyway, he went on from there and he says they'd like to use their depth to their advantage, hoping to kind of stay in the game, get to the fourth quarter and see what happens. So they'd like an up-tempo game and uh, try to use their, their depth as a big asset. The Moline Maroons, on the other hand, have, have some, some height advantages. Uh, they come into the ball game. Coach Steve Ford's ball club comes in 18 and six and five and two in the Western Big Six, both losses to Galesburg. And Galesburg obviously is one of the best teams in the state of Illinois, so there's no disgrace to that. Talked to him a little bit and he said that uh, he also thought that the tempo was uh, uh, gonna be an issue. But on the other hand, he, he was kind of interesting because he said, I'm not afraid of the up-tempo game. I, matter of fact, I'd like to see this thing go up and down a little bit. He did feel because of Alleman's depth that it was going to be a test of conditioning for his girls, but, but he did like to, to keep the ball moving up and down. He thought this was going to be another great basketball game, Western Big Six style. So we're in for a treat tonight in our nice sophomore ball game. The Alleman girls defeated Moline 34-32 in a, in a tightly contested game, a nice ball game as a prelim. And so we're getting ready. We've got about 10 minutes to go before the game starts here. It should be an excellent ball game. Both teams uh, coming in 18 and six for Moline, 19 and eight for the Alleman Pioneers. We'll be back with starting lineups in just a minute. With their starting lineups tonight for Alleman, number 10 is Megan Marlier. She's by six junior. Number 24, Jessica Seedham, a 5'9 junior. 42, Anna Broody, 5'10 junior. Young lineup. Number 44, Emily Weeble is a 6 foot senior. And Emily Chesser, number 50, she's a 5'10 junior. Jay Hatch is the head coach of the Alleman Pioneers and now for the Moline Maroons. Number 10 as a starter, Marissa Lee, a 5'3 junior. Number 14 is Jen Larson, she's a 5'9 sophomore. Number 24, Ashley Thomas, she's a 5'8 sophomore. Number 34 is Nikki Hansen. She's 5'7 and a senior. And number 52, Katie Fournier, 6'1 and a junior for Coach Steve Ford's lineup. And we're about ready for basketball here. Western Big Six Girls Basketball. It's a Family Ties production. This should be a real good ball game tonight. Both teams come in with good records. It's a, an important ball game. We're here towards the end of January. And uh, I, I think you're gonna really enjoy what you see. As I mentioned, each time we have one of these broadcasts, you see the number on your screen occasionally. Uh, please give us a call. If you like what you see, if we can improve on something, please let us know. Uh, we're trying to, to give you the best product we can. And we certainly enjoy bringing these games to you. We've done boys basketball in Iowa. Got some college ball games planned for you. It's going to be a busy week on Family Ties Productions here. So enjoy the tip control by Moline. First possession. Marissa Lee sets up. Allman's man to man. Motion offense with cutters. Trying to work the ball inside. Drive. Shot. Partially blocked that time. The shot was by Ashley Thomas. It was blocked. And in transition, here come the Alleman Pioneers. Nice move to the basket. Shot attempted that time by number 42. That's Anna uh, Broody. 5'10 senior is fouled. Katie Fournier 
Number 52 picked up her first personal foul and the first team foul. And to the free throw tonight for the first time is, Je is Anna Broody. In, around, and out. Second free throw. She's set. Good rotation, a little strong, and a rebound that time by number 24, Ashley Thomas. And then Thomas brings the ball up. And the Maroons back on offense again. Nice set play, looking underneath. Good cut. Nice shot. Great entry pass and a basket by Katie Fournier. And the Maroons break on top two to nothing and full court pressure. Allman breaks the pressure nicely. Stop, a little jump shot there, won't go. And the Maroons on the run. Ball hits the rim, a little out of control. A little scoop layup in there that time, but not good. And here come the Pioneers back the other way. Emily Chester had the rebound that time. It's gonna give you a little ragged for a while, folks. Another turnover. Lee with the ball, gets the ball to the wing. And Moline sets up their offense. Nice drive. Lee, nice little jump shot for two. And Moline leads four to nothing. 6.33 to go in the first quarter. Real hard to get the ball in bounds. And a timeout requested by Alleman. Coach Hatch wants a 30 second timeout. We'll take a short break. We'll be back with action here in just a minute. 4 0 Maroons, first quarter. We're back after our 30 second timeout by Alleman. Coach Hatch trying to get things under control. We're go, uh, the Maroons are putting on a little three quarter court, one, two, two uh, zone press. Alleman breaks the ball, uh, breaks that press, but a good defense that time by Ashley Thomas knocked the ball out of bounds. So after the basket, the uh, Maroons were in a full court press man to man, and after that timeout, they went to a three quarter court trapping press on the zone. And the Maroons come out. Nice three-point shot that time. Beautiful basket. And here come the Maroons. Broody on that basket. Anna Broody. 4-3. Thomas with the ball underneath, and she's fouled. Ashley Thomas, the 5'8 sophomore. Backdoor cut. Good pass from Marissa Lee. Foul, and she'll go to the free throw line shooting two. First, and the team's first. Free throw is good. That foul was called on Emily Weeble, the six foot sen uh, senior. And a substitution for Olive, and number 14 comes in the game. That's Noreen Hogan, 5'6 senior. Uh, re replaces Jessica Sita. Miss free throw, ball off of Moline. And it'll be Alleman's ball. See what kind of pressure that the Maroons put on this time. They're not going to put anybody on the girl out of bounds. Three, a little three on two defense here to make the ball hard to get in bounds. And now it's man to man pressure. No, they're going to trap with that. They're going to trap. And Alleman's having a heck of a time getting the ball across the 10 second line, but they do a good job of that. Just came close to 10 seconds is all. Nice entry pass there. Nice shot that time, Emily Weeble, six foot senior. Five, five with five minutes and 28 seconds to go. Looks like Holloman's gonna try to work that ball down to the low block and Weeble did a beautiful job that time of, of, of turning around and putting that ball in the basket. Lee, another nice shot. She just made one there a minute ago. That was a little bit strong. The rebound by Broody. Down the court, beautiful feed ahead to Megan Marlier and she is fouled. Marlier will go to the free throw line. And the foul is gonna be on number 34. And that's Nikki Hansen. That's her first and the team's second team foul. Megan Marlier. Little strong off the back iron. We're still tied at five. Sub, two subs in for Alleman. We have a Colette Basso. And Katie Manny, number tw numbers 20 and number 30 come in the lineup. And there's that depth that we we're talking about with the Pioneers. They've gone three deep on the bench already. Missed free throw again. 
Thomas on the, excuse me, uh, uh, Hanson on that rebound. And gets the ball to Lee. Looking to go inside. That entry pass is defended beautifully that time. And a, and a breakout by the Pioneers. Chesser. Lost the ball, but it was last touch by Moline. Jessica Seedham, back in for Jessica Seedham comes back in for Alleman. So the rotation continues as Megan Marlier sits down. So Alleman er, with the ball under their own basket. Nice pass. Shot on the way a little strong that time by Basso. Good rebound by Larson. She brings that ball up and she'll set the offense. Again, the Maroons working hard to get it inside, and Alamo's doing a nice job with their interior defense. Foul that time, as Jen Larson made a nice drive to the basket. The 5'9 sophomore was fouled. And the foul against Alleman goes against number 14. That's Noreen Hogan. It's her first foul, and the second team foul <coughs> against Alleman. Good play on the out of bounds. Shot will not go. Offensive board though that time by number 24, Ashley Thomas. Gets the offensive board and the put back for two. <coughs> Moline leads seven to five. Alleman quick up the court. Basso, stop and pop. 5'8 junior, 7'7 seven, seven tie. 4'12 to go in the first quarter. Post up move inside that time by Katie Fernier, but the ball didn't get to her. Still looking to get it there. She now has it on the low block. Lost control. Basso on the steal. Good hustle that time. And Basso ends up with it. Knocked away by Lee. And the ball is going to go to the Pioneers. The game is play, being played at a very high speed right now. Molina will go with two subs. In the lineup for Moline is Caitlin. Eiton, and number 33 comes into the ball game. Uh, Anna Larson comes in. Eiton, Eith and Larson in for Moline. Allman with possession, tie ball game. Good defense that time by number 52. That's Katie Fournier on the steal. And the Maroons want to run. Three point shot on its way. A little bit strong. Good offensive board by uh, Ashley Thomas, she's all over the place right now. And Moline will reset, trying to get the ball back to Thomas, and now she has it. Then Larson did a good job of controlling things out front. Got the ball to Thomas. Drive, nice bank shot. Ashley Thomas, the 5'8 sophomore, makes it 9-7. Moline with three minutes to go in the first quarter. On the drive, beautiful dunk pass, but a good defensive play by number 33 that time. That would be Larson. Annie Larson, the 5'10 junior, and she was fouled. Fouls on number 30, Omen's Katie Manning. That's her first and the team's third. Katie Manning, number 30, was called for that foul, and that's the third team foul against the Pioneers. To two for Moline. Full court pressure now by Alleman. Kind of a soft pass there. Nice left-handed layup and very good defense. <coughs> Katie Manning <coughs> makes our score 9-9. Nine, nine. Both teams liking to press, especially after uh, out-of-bounds plays and made baskets, made free throws, and they're making life kind of miserable for the other team right now. We're tied at 9. Yeah. And I looked, it looked kind of unorthodox, but she didn't double dribble and she certainly didn't travel. She just didn't control it very well. Drive inside, shot partially blocked that time. And the ball is off. Uh, number 10, that's Megan Marlier, knocked the ball out of bounds. Anna Broody in for the Pioneers. Anna Broody comes back in for the Pioneers. Emily Weeble in for Emily Weeble's gonna come back in for Alleman. And the ball will go out of bounds to Moline. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a tough time getting that ball inbounds. And Ashley Thomas with the ball at the point right now. Uh, Marissa Lee is on the bench getting a little rest, so Thomas will take over the point. And she has the ball, and they'll reset, trying to get things organized in their offense right now. A little out of sync, but they still have the ball with two minutes, five seconds. Good entry pass, good block that time for Alleman by Emily Weeble. <coughs> 
And here come the Pioneers on the run. Out front is Megan Marlier, drive, nice left-handed layup, a little strong off the, off the, the uh, bank board. And a mad scramble for the ball again. Good entry pass that time, however, and a basket by Colleen Kilby, the six foot junior, puts Alleman ahead for the first time, 11-9, with 1.28 to go in the first quarter. Nobody's taking a state claim right now to being the dominant team so far in this ball game, and the play underneath the basket is, is pretty fierce. But that's where Moley wants to go with the ball. There's no question about that, trying to get the ball into four near, especially. Uh, dropped the ball off to her, but the ball went off. Uh, Jen Larson's foot rolled out of bounds. Two subs coming in. Emily Chester back in for Alleman, and Marissa Lee coming back in for Moline, along with number 54, that's Chelsea Rowan. Six foot junior comes in. 108 to go. Pioneers with the ball and a two point lead. Both teams really want to get that ball. It seems like they're concentrating on getting it down quick, and if they can't, set up and try to work the ball inside, working inside out. Shot by number 24. <laughs> Woo, three-pointer that time by Jessica Seedham, the 5'9 junior, and it's 14-9 with 43 seconds to go. Five-point lead for Alleman. Good run here by the Pioneers late in the first quarter. See if Moline can answer. Thomas shot a little off the mark that time, goes out of bounds. Not touched by anybody. And the ball will go to Alleman with 30.3 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Alleman gets the ball in. Seedham will bring the ball down. Coach Hatch is starting to talk about maybe one shot as they spread the ball on the floor a little bit, go to a little 1-4 action with cutters. Looks like a foul that time going to be called against number 24, Ashley Thomas from Moline. That's her first foul, and each team now has three team fouls with 19.4 seconds to go. To inbounds for Alleman. Rudy gets the ball in. Seedham has the ball, and they kind of work the ball on the perimeter. Oh, nice entry pass. Beautiful pass that time from Rudy to Seedham. And it's 16 to nine with two seconds to go. Can Moline get a shot off? Yes, they do. Off the rim and no good. The last shot by Ashley Thomas will not drop. And with a beautiful run towards the end of the first quarter, the Almond Pioneers have jumped to a 16 to nine lead. And we'll be back with second quarter action in just a minute. Well, welcome back. We start the second quarter here at Wharton Fieldhouse, home of the Moline Maroons. And the Maroons trail 16 to nine. Alleman has possession to open this second quarter. We'll see if any adjustments have been made. Long three point shot that time by Jessica Seedham. Won't go on the run, Marissa Lee. Jen Larson for three and count it. Jen Larson, the 5'9 sophomore. Good no call by the official that time. A little contact, but but not enough to cause any problems, and the game goes on. 16-12, early second quarter action. Ball inside, Weeble, nice turnaround jump shot. Beautiful entry pass, 18-12. Favor of the Pioneers, Moline with the ball. Into their half court offense. Lee is back in the game, and they certainly want her at the point. Good entry pass, turnaround jump shot, no good. And a good offensive rebound by Katie Fournier. The putback good, and the foul. Count that basket, says our official. Megan Marlier will pick up her foul. That's her first, and the fourth team foul with a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Katie Fournier at the line, and good. 18-15, seven minutes to go, second quarter. Token pressure by Moline, not much, and they've done a good job of putting on different types of pressure. Fourth shot that time a little bit inside by Jessica Seedham. I think she was looking for somebody to break the basket. Didn't happen. She had to take the shot or travel. Ashley Thomas back in the game. For Ashley Thomas comes back in for Moline. And number 33, Annie Larson will take a break against full court trap. 
by Alleman on this out of bounds play. And a foul, good, good penetration that time. Thomas took that ball one on two, broke the trap though. And if she could have made it to the mid court line, they'd have had about a three on two or three on one. Jessica Seedham picks up her first foul. Fifth team foul against Alleman. And Alleman will drop back and play more man to man now. Not much pressure out front. Thomas stops. Nice move inside, a little strong off the iron. Rebound by number 54. Uh, that's Emily Chesser for Alleman. Nice pass. Boy, they had a good look that time. Just couldn't quite hang on to that ball is all. Long three-point shot by Jen Larson off the front iron. Controls her own rebound. Has a chance to move with it. And the Maroons look to set back up. <clears throat> But right now, Megan Marlier is doing a real nice job of guarding Marissa Lee, number 10 against number 10. And it's getting harder for Marissa to get the ball back when she passes it. The Maroons again, set offense. Good pick and roll kinds of things going on inside. And there's the wide open shot. Looks like she might have got tipped on the arm just a tad there. Ball goes out of bounds though. And the ball's gonna go to Moline. Larson had to shot that time out of the corner. The way it just came up there it was either partially blocked or something because it didn't go anywhere near where she wanted it to. Out of bounds play. Maroons get the ball into Fournier. She's looking to get the ball back out to Lee, but penetrates. Nice drive in the lane, but she traveled. Little jump stop, but both feet didn't land at exactly the same time, and that's traveling every time. Good call by our official. Holloman with the ball. Ahead 18-15, 5.47 to go in the second quarter. Good pressure by Moline. Drive, forced that up there a little bit, looking to get fouled, and she finally did, right after her own rebound, which is always, the good players always do that. Emily Weeble kind of Forced a shot up in there off the rim, got her own board, got her own offensive rebound rather, and then when she did that, she tried to put it back up and got fouled. That foul is against Nikki Hansen, that's her second. And the fourth team foul against Moline. Weeble at the line, first shot, nothing but net. 19-15. Okay. Larson comes in the game uh, for Moline. And Hogan comes back in for Alleman. Emily Weeble, second free throw is good. Sub gonna come in for her, and that'll be number 30, that's Katie Manning. So several changes again during that break in the action. One for Moline, two or three for Alleman. And Lee brings the ball down against man-to-man -man pressure. Anna Brody is on her now. Trying to rotate people on the point guard to keep them fresh and to try to wear uh, uh, Marissa out a little bit, but we'll have to see how that works as the game goes along. Thomas with the ball. Lee, they're kind of giving her that shot. She made, she's made one out of two from there. Very good defense. Good defense. If you like defense, it's a good game to watch. In and out that time by Larson. Rebound by number 30 is Katie Manning. Length of the court pass. Seedham gets a shot blocked. Nice block that time by Katie Fournier. Fournier with the golf ball again. Six foot one. You probably don't want her out on the point very long, but she certainly was on her way. Thomas off the front of the rim won't go. Good offensive board in there that time by number 33. She fights again for the ball. We've got a jump ball. Excellent effort that time by Ann Larson. Annie Larson, rather. 5'10 junior. Missed a shot, almost put it down, but didn't go. The ball will go out of bounds. All of it possession to the Moline Maroons. Ashley Thomas will inbounds this ball. Looking for the open girl. Can't find one and calls a timeout. Oh, we had a five second call before she could get the timeout called. And that results in a turnover. Very good defense that time by Alleman. 4.20 to go here. Five point lead by the Pioneers. And they have the ball. 
Zone defense this time by Moline, a 2-1-2 look. Coach Hatch wants him to go to a high-low look. And we'll see how they adjust to that. Got the ball, skip pass. Scares all those old timers a lot. Very popular. Shot on the way that time. Chester did not, it did not go for her. Jen Larson with the ball. And she'll bring the ball down. Wide open, stops for three. A little strong. Thomas over, on, on a good offensive rebound there and another jump ball. This time the ball will go to Alleman. In the ball game for Alleman is, is Chelsea Rowan, six foot junior. And Emily Chester is going to sit down for a, a minute or two. 2015, the visitors lead, the Alleman Pioneers. 3.38 to go in the second quarter. Oh, ball was partially blocked. Oh, a nice rebound, offensive rebound inside that time by Alleman. Col Colleen Kilbride, Bride, excuse me, six foot junior, had that offensive board. And she'll go to the free throw line, shooting a couple here in a minute, but before we do that, we're gonna have a timeout. And breaking the action, 3.33 to go in the second quarter, 20 to 15 in favor of the Alleman Pioneers. We're coming back from the break. They had a timeout for a 30 second timeout for Moline. Jess was just sharing with me that he's pretty much a weatherman and he says it's a lot warmer in it here than it is outside. That's just how sharp he is. He's right on top of that, but we have a place to sit tonight. Not a real big crowd necessarily, but we got a, a, the catbird seat here at Wharton Fieldhouse. This is always a great place to broadcast from. And we'll be back here uh, over the weekend by the time you watch this, it'll already have happened, but I'm just going to say it anyway. Some great basketball here uh, in the shootout. Rock Island will be here, and so will Moline in, on Saturday night. 21-15 now, the lead by Moline. Jen Larson a little bit strong. Rebound by number 24, it's Ashley Thomas, and she's fouled. Katie Manning, that's her second, and the team's sixth. Okay, and that foul, trying to get that. Foul's on number 30. That's Katie Manning, and it's the sixth team foul against Alleman, five against Moline, and that's Manning's second foul. Thomas, foot on the line, a little bit short. Ball knocked away. Put back right in the girl, the girl in the right place at the right time, Katie Fournier, and it's 21-17, and slowly but surely, the Maroons are coming back. Will Alleman answer? We're on that zone now, we'll see what happens now as they work that ball inside. Tough pass that time. Marlier will set back up again against 2-1-2. Zone by Moline. A little 1-3-1 look by the Pioneers. Try to get the ball inside and they do. Backdoor cut. Drive to the basket. A nice, nice drive to the basket. A real nice pass. Foul's going to go against number 10. That's Marissa Lee. That's her first and the sixth team foul. And to the free throw line for Alleman will be Noreen Hogan. Shot on its way. A little bit right and won't go. From this point on, both teams will be in the bonus. Six fouls on each team. We're at 21 17, 241 to go in the second quarter. Second shot. In 22-17, and full court pressure by the Maroons. Starts off looking man to man, and ends up being a little bit of a trap. But Thomas brings the ball across the 10-second line really well. Dribbles the ball well, right-handed and left-handed. The good players can do that. And we're looking at a jump ball at time four. Moline, number 42. That's Caitlin. I try, try to take that ball inside, but was tied up. And the ball's going to go out of bounds this time to Moline. Sub coming in for the Pioneers. Colette Basso's coming in. Megan Marlier will take a seat. 2.30 to go and a five point lead by Alleman. Moline with the ball. Great play. Beautiful play. Basket. Beautiful pass that time from Ashley Thomas to Jen Larson for two. 
set out of bounds play, and it's always wonderful to watch when those things work. And, and as you fans know, and most of you have been around basketball a while, it takes a lot, a lot of practice to get those things to work like that. And it's always a pleasure when they do. Bowling with the ball, and they're only down by three. A two-pointer will bring them within one. Ball forced in there just a little bit that time by Jen Larson. And she's going to pick up a foul. 30 seconds timeout, taken by Owen. Well, I guess we got a 30 second timeout there. I think that was it. Wanted to time out early. We got a timeout here, 30 seconds. Let's stay with it here. As Coach Hatch talks to his girls a little bit about setting up, there's a three point lead. Allman's. You know, obviously, Coach has got us against this zone at the other end. He's looking to get the offense set to where they've got an opportunity to, to maybe penetrate a little bit against the zone. Now, still, you want to get some penetration. You just pass the ball in the perimeter. The zone is pretty darn effective. But you penetrate a little bit, dish the ball off, you get some very good looks. And then you got to hit the offensive boards. Now, is that what Coach said? I haven't got a clue. I'm not in that huddle. <coughs> But that's where, where we're at. So there was no foul. I misspoke there a moment ago. It was just a timeout by Alleman. And we're back to action. 158 to go. 22-19. The Pioneers lead. Entry pass. Looking to go down low. Nice drive. Bank shot. And an offensive board that time. Emily Weeble did a nice job. She penetrated well with the basketball. A little strong on the shot off the bank. Offensive board and was fouled. Foul against Moline's uh, Caitlin Eith. That's her first and the seventh team foul against Moline. Weeble, shot on the way and good. 23-19. Moline, number 44, is going to come in. Courtney Fournier is going to come in. And Caitlin Eith is going to take a seat on the bench for just a minute. She's going to be back in. Coach is talking to her just a little bit. Make a couple adjustments, get the off, uh, defensive board, and you're right back in there again, I imagine. Both free throws good, five point lead by Alleman. Moline with the ball, and a scramble. Good hustle, both teams hustling. Alleman's got it though, a shot, quick shot that time by Hogan, doesn't go, and Jen Larson brings the ball up for Moline. There's sure, sure no lack of hustle out here, these girls are are getting after this, what you expect Western Big Six basketball to be. And gosh, there's some good teams in the Western Big Six. These two, for sure, are very good teams. You've also got, obviously, a, an outstanding team in Galesburg. So three or more good teams in a six-team conference is, is more than you can ask for. And there's a five-second count, closely guarded. Great defense that time by uh, the Pioneers, and that ends up being a turnover. And they'll take possession again. Allman with the ball. Out of bounds. Weeble gets the ball into Jessica Sedum. And again, against a, a zone. Vasso with the ball. Tried to get the ball inside, though. Fournier is after it. Let's see who fouled there. Could go against either girl. I just got to figure out who the official is going to call this on. Our foul is on. Okay. Foul is on number 52. That's Katie Fournier, and that's her third foul. A huge foul. 6'1 senior is going to have to sit down for a while. Basso at the free throw line, left handed shot. It's a beauty. 25 19. One minute and one second to go here in the second quarter. Colette Basso, the 5'8 junior, shot on the way and good. She's going to take a seat on the bench, and coming in for her is number 42. That's Anna Brudy. And she's back in, and Moline will take the ball out of bounds against full court pressure. Not as tight pressure as before, but it, it causes you a little, takes a little time off the clock, makes it harder to get into your offense. And Moline with the ball, looking for a good shot. Seven down. Moline needs to make a little bit of a run here before half. Shorten that lead up just a little bit if they can. Oh, nice play and a foul. Beautiful pass that time from Jen Larson. She got the ball inside to Courtney Fournier, who was fouled, but Moline ran a, a good play, a little mix up in the Alleman defense, and she was wide open. We have a foul called on the number 42. That's Anna Brudy. That's her first, and it's the team's seventh. Courtney Fournier, first shot on its way and good. 
Megan Marlier is going to come back in for the Almond Pioneers, and Noreen Hogan's going to sit down. They've, they've got some good minutes out of Noreen tonight. She's done an excellent job, too. Fournier is a 5'10 freshman. Her shot again on the way, and nothing but net. 26 21 with 38 seconds to go. Let's see what the Pioneers choose to do. They're against the zone, so they could probably hold the ball out here. And if Moline doesn't come to get them, they're going to end up getting. Going to match up just a little bit now. But they're going to let Alleman hold the ball for the last shot. Five point lead by Alleman, and they look like they're going to get the last shot of the first half. Marlier with the ball going one on one. Nice drive, beautiful pass. Shot up and good. Emily Weeble on the shot from Megan Marlier. Now the Maroons got a chance. Thomas, stop, pop, basket at the buzzer. What a great transition basket that time by Ashley Thomas, and we're at halftime here at Moline, Horton Fieldhouse. The Alleman Pioneers will take a lead into the dressing room. The, the Pioneers lead the Maroons 28-23, and we're at halftime. We're back with second half action in just a minute. We're back here at Wharton Fieldhouse, Western Big Six girls basketball. You're watching the Family Ties production. This is Jim Sanders with Jess Medina on the camera. We're at halftime, and we're just getting ready to come back to action from Moline. Uh, you know, first half action, things have kind of done what they wanted to, except that the ball hasn't gone in the basket very well for them. Uh, but Katie Fournier leads them with seven points. Uh, Ashley Thomas has seven. And Jen Larson has five, but the bad news is that Nikki Hansen has two fouls and Katie Fournier has three. So we'll see how that plays out as we go to the second half. For Alleman, leading scorer is Emily Weebel, and uh, Jessica Seedham has, uh, Weagle has eight, and Seedham has five. And Katie Manning is the only girl in foul trouble at all with two fouls for the Pioneers. And the Pioneers get the ball and lead by five, 28-23, third quarter. Man-to-man -man pressure out front by Moline. A good drive that time, wide open shot. A couple little extra little steps in there. That time by Emily Chesser. And the first possession for Alleman to start the second half results in a turnover. The Maroons get the ball inbounds against full court pressure. And the first possession for Moline results in a turnover. Zone by Moline. 2-3, two, 2-1-2 two, two look. Nice baseline drive that time. Oh, beautiful move that time by Emily Weeble. Six foot senior, her 10th points of the game. And a 30-23 lead by Alleman. So third quarter action, Alleman starts with the first basket. We'll see if Moline can answer against man-to-man -man pressure. Good penetration that time. Good offensive rebound by Jen Larson. Loose ball, Alleman picks it up. On the run come the Pioneers. Weeble stops and travels. Moline taking a little chance. Coach uh, Ford says, you know what? Katie Fournier needs to be in the ball game. And she's in there, the 6'1 junior, with her seven points, but also with her three fouls. So we'll see if 
Holloman tries to get that ball inside and see if they can draw that fourth foul on her uh, early here in the second half and see what effect that'll have on the outcome of this ball game. Marissa Lee out front. Fournier with the ball to Thomas Larson. Starting lineup out there for the Moline Maroons. Resets, gets the ball nice inside to Fournier. Turn around, jump shot, beautiful. Great entry pass by Lee. Fournier with the basket. She now has nine, and it's 30-25. Each team has scored once here in the third quarter. The Pioneers on the offense. Nice drop pass in there. Shot won't go that time for Emily Weeble. And Thomas with the ball. Travel. Sometimes you just get those feet moving quicker than the ball hits, get, leaves your hand and, and the travel takes place. So aggressive play, turns over, turnover, and Alleman has a chance to build on a five-point lead. Oh, nice pass that time. Kind of a no-look pass that time. Emily Chesser ends up with the ball and a beautiful pass from uh, Anna Brudy. And 32-25, now the lead for the Almond Pioneers. Good pressure. They got to come to the ball, which they did, but it results in a turnover on the run. Brudy at a foul. Brudy on the breakaway, and Jen Larson comes through and comes up with a foul. They're going to make her make two free throws to get those two points. Her first foul and the first team foul here in the second half. Seven-point lead. Anna Brudy, first one on the way, and it is good. For Moline, number 44 comes in the ball game. Courtney Fournier comes in the game, and Marissa Lee sits down. And I missed a sub for Alleman. I apologize for that. I especially apologize. It happened to be your daughter. Shot in the way, and good. And the Maroons with the ball again, 34-25, a nine-point lead for Alleman, and Moline needs to answer here pretty quickly. Larson handling the ball out front. And against man-to-man, -man, still against man-to-man -man pressure. Like a five-second count coming, that's correct. That's a very good call. Whether you're standing still or whether you're moving, if that defender's within six feet, you're gonna get a five-second uh, call against you unless you pick up your dribble, which she did not. Moline wants a 30-second timeout, and we'll take a uh, short break, and we'll be right back with you here. 34-25, Alleman, 5.15 to go. We're back after a quick timeout that time, and we're back to action. 34-25 with 5.13 to go here in the third quarter. Alleman with the ball and a nine-point lead. Moline, oh, nice pick and roll that time. Good defense. I really like the defense that time by Moline. Courtney Fournier did a beautiful job. See if Moline can answer with a basket here. Nice drive by Jen Larson. It's going to be a foul against Oliman. And foul goes on number 14, Noreen Hogan. That's her second foul. First team foul of the second half. Shot on the way by Jen Larson, and it is good. Good free throw shooting here this evening by both teams. And you certainly, if you've got good ball clubs, good ball clubs make free throws. Nothing but net. 34-27 early here in our third quarter. Nice entry pass. Emily Weeble, ball on the rim, soft touch, two points. 36-27, Moline on the run, Thomas. And they'll set up. Trying to work the ball. It's going to be a foul. Good defense inside time that, inside that time. Uh, Emily Chesser did a beautiful job. Jessica Seedham, they double teamed for near down low there. Chesser. Chesser will pick up the foul. It's her first, second against Alleman. Marlier comes back in the ball game for Alleman. And Jessica Seedham will take a, a little rest here. Moline inbounds the ball. Nice looking play on the out of bounds play. Another good one by Moline. Shot just won't go. And a rebound that time, Weeble. 
Ahead to Brady, Broody, excuse me, Broody. Oh, nice pass inside, a little strong on the shot that time by Manning and Thomas. Ahead to Larson, 4-2. Ashley Thomas to Jen Larson. And it's 36-29 with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Halfway through the third quarter. Nice entry pass. Nice head fake, double pump, basket by Kelly Mayhew. Excuse me. I, I, my fault, wrong team, Katie Manning. Katie Manning on the shot that time, 5'9", junior. 38-29. That was a nice drive again. Larson's doing a beautiful job. Oh, Fournier made a great effort here in the corner, but her foot was just on the line. Jen Larson's penetrating against the Solomon defense very well. That ball will stay in the basket a few times. They're going to get right back in the ball game. 3.36 to go. Nine-point lead by Alleman. A little 1-4 look. Uh, four girls along. The, the, the free throw line extended. Pick and roll from there. And Moline's doing a nice job. Back playing man-to-man -man right now. Weeble, Emily Weeble, six foot senior. She has 14 points now. Another nice look that time by Jen Larson, won't go. Fournier gets the ball on the offensive rebound, goes up. Another offensive rebound by Moline. That time by number 34, that's Nikki Hansen. And it looked like that time Moline was going to stay hard on those boards. They were going to shoot that thing until they either got made a basket or got fouled. That's the third foul on Katie Manning for Alleman. So Katie's in a little bit of foul trouble here. The first free throw on the way. A little bit left for Nikki Hansen, the 5'7 senior. Kilbride in and Basso in for the Pioneers. Second free throw again, a little bit strong, but another offensive rebound by Hansen. Puts the ball up, won't go. Offensive rebound, oh, it won't go. The ball is halfway down for uh, Courtney Fournier after a good offensive rebound. It didn't go, a beautiful drive. Left hand layup that time by Jen Larson. Excuse me. By Noreen, Noreen Hogan, my bad. And a quick timeout. We'll stay here. Coach Hatch is going to talk to the girls a little bit. Don't look now, but Alleman has jumped ahead 42-29 with 2.39 to go here in the third quarter. And Moline has to find a way to answer. I think Coach Hatch is probably very happy with the way things are going. Had good penetration that time. Uh, Hogan just took that ball and went left hand all the way to the basket, made a beautiful left-handed layup. And Moline is going to have to find a way to answer, and they're going to have to do it in a hurry. Coach Ford, on the other hand, he's, he's, he just, you know, he's got to get the girls calmed down. The last two times down, they really hit the boards really, really well. Uh, very physical. The ball just won't go in the basket. And, heck, we've all been in games like that where, you know, the ball goes in the basket, you look really good, and if the ball doesn't, you don't. But things change quickly in all, all levels of basketball. And the Western Big Six seems like it can change on, on, on one play. And I think Moline is looking to make that one play but again, they've still got a quarter and two minutes and 39 seconds to do that. So this game is a long way from over. But Moline needs to answer as they take the ball inbounds. And here come the Maroons with the basketball. Ashley Thomas will run point this time. Pick and roll with Fournier. Trying to get to the ball. Thomas will take the shot as both girls shifted off and picked up. Fournier and the offensive rebound that time by Hansen. Fournier on the drive. Stops. Nice shot. Lean in that time by Katie Fournier. Beautiful move. 42-31. Alleman, 2.10 to go in the third quarter. Oh, real nice move. Baseline move that time. Megan Marlier. Right around the girl from Moline, and off she went. Ball was tipped. That's a good call. You saw it. You had a great angle at it. Camera was perfect. Moline will maintain possession. Great defense by Alleman. Thomas again will bring the ball across the 10-second line. The Pioneers are 
Again, man to man. Looking for the pick and roll. Back picks, trying to spring the girls open. Again, trying to get the ball inside. Good job, beautiful pass that time. Thomas to uh, Courtney Fournier for the basket. 44-33 is our score, 133 to go. Another penetrating move by Marlier. Gonna get a foul here. Nolene's gonna end up with the ball. Number 14, Noreen Hogan. That's her third. 14, Noreen Hogan. That's her third foul and the fourth foul against Alleman in this half to one for Moline. Pick and roll coming. Across the middle by Moline. Can't quite get open. Fournier with the ball out front. Trying to use Nikki Hansen for the pick. Fournier again, a free throw line. Larson won't go offensive board in time. That inside that time, beautiful. Nikki Hansen is taking on herself to go to the boards right now. Offensive board and a putback. Nice job. 44-35, nine point lead. Nice entry pass. Gonna be no shot. Boy, Alman made two nice passes to get that ball for a wide open shot underneath. 34 picks up the foul from Moline. Third, Nikki Hansen, and that's her third personal foul. So Moline starting to run into a little bit of foul trouble now with Hansen with uh, three fouls. And uh, uh, Fournier with three fouls. Moline with the ball. Nine point lead for Alleman. Thomas. Nice drive, little soft, little short on oh, an offensive board. And Moline starting to dominate the boards right now, folks. Katie Fournier, but they got to get back. Nice drive that time. Fournier again on the boards. Allman got the ball down, got a good look. But Fournier comes up with the defensive rebound. Thomas on the drive, a little, little off the front edge of the rim. She got a little too far underneath the basket. And a travel that time. Got going a little too quick. Emily Weeble, and she turns that ball over. So not getting many shots right now for the Pioneers with 14.1 seconds to go. Moline with the ball down by seven, 44, 37, 10 seconds. Ashley Thomas looking to get the shot. Jen Larson, way short. Larson saves it. Fournier, basket counts. A great, Jen Larson misses badly on a shot, followed her own rebound. Dumped the ball back in, saves it from going out of bounds to Katie Fournier for two points, and we've reached the end of the third quarter, and that 11, 12, 13-point lean that Alleman had is now five. Alleman 44, Moline 39. We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a minute. Now we're back. Nice run here at the end of the third quarter by the Moline Maroons. Came back from 13, 12 or 13 down, and are down by five, 44-39, and have the ball. <clears throat> Big possession for the Maroons here. If they can open up strong in the, in the fourth quarter, who knows? Nice drive inside and a steal. And we got one official calls a jump ball, and one calls a foul, and it's gonna be a jump ball. Good defense that time inside by Megan Marlier to tie up Jen Larson. And Alleman has an opportunity. Moline missed a good chance, down by five and had the ball, but came away empty on the jump ball, all in the possession. Gets man-to-man -man pressure, the Pioneers now with the ball. Marlier, a little strong, but a long rebound that time by Anna Brudy, and the Pioneers set up, see them with the ball. Moline back again, man-to-man. -man. Moline's have a tendency to play well in the fourth quarter. They've done that several times this year already. They wear on you a little bit. Nice play. Emily Weeble drops in the two-pointer, 46-39. Seven minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Thomas on the point. Hanson now with the ball. Looking to get open again. They're trying to get the ball inside. Fournier with the ball. She'll take it inside. 
foul was thrown real. That's just a good play. She had no shot. Katie Haley had no shot, but she put the ball up on the board and chased down her own offensive rebound. And a foul coming out front that time, but Jen Larson tried for the quick steal, but didn't get it. Fouls on number 14, Monique's Jen Larson. That's her second foul. Third foul against uh, Moline. Holloman will take the ball back out of bounds again. Noreen Hogan, another good defensive play by the Moline Maroons. It's getting more and more difficult for Holloman to have any kind of an open pass, and they're just going to have to keep putting more and more pressure on and see where that leads them. Holloman gets the ball inbounds, and, and Jessica Seedham will set up behind the back dribble. Looking down low. There comes a the cutter. Nice shot, a little left-handed shot in, around, and out. And we got a traveling call. It's going to go against Holloman. I don't think the crowd liked that real well. But that's the call we have. <clears throat> and Moline is going to get the ball back. Down by five. 46-41. 6.15 to go. In the fourth quarter, Western Big Six girls basketball. It's a family ties production. We enjoy bringing these games to you. Stay with us. we got a lot of more, more excitement coming, not only in this game, but Gosh, as this weekend comes up, there's lots of things going on. So kind of watch the, the newspapers, and we'll, we'll bring you as many games as we can. Alleman on a good defensive play. They, they just pinched so hard inside on Fournier. There just wasn't hardly any way to get that ball to her. Alleman on the penetration move that time. And Noreen Hogan took the ball towards the basket. And the Thomas is going to pick up her second foul, and each team has four team fouls, so we've got a ways to go before we, either team gets in the bonus. No, a wide open play there. And the ball comes back inbounds, and Alleman is going to get called for traveling again. Well, the, right now, Alleman is not playing as well as they played in the other three quarters, and, and Moline is going to have to make a move right now. They're still down by five. Alleman will regroup, you know that. Moline needs to make something happen. While they're struggling, every team has to go through these dry spells throughout the ball game. So we'll see what Moline does here. Love to get the ball inside to Fournier. A double pick, however, to get the ball to Larson. There's a nice looking shot. Thomas had to pass it up because Alleman's defense is so good. Larson to Thomas. Both Fourniers in the game at the same time. That's not a bad look. Fournier misses, that was uh, Katie that time, and a Moline travel. <laughs> Ashley Thomas ended up with an offensive board there, but she traveled. And Alleman's going to bring the ball down now. Coach Hatch is calling for a set play of some kind. We'll see how that works. A little 1-4 lineup, almost a steal that time by <laughs> Courtney Fournier. Weeble that time on the basket. Weeble now has 18 points for Alleman. And Moline with the ball. And another good defensive play. Quick jump ball call that time. Great defense that time by Emily Chesser. Did a nice job. Ended up with a jump ball. All the possession will go to Moline. 17 points at this point in time for Katie Fournier. 18 points for Emily Weeble. Long rebound, Moline maintains possession. Both teams have put out a lot of energy right now. You got two tired groups of girls out here right now, but they're gonna fight through it. Jen Larson off the rim. Courtney Fournier keeps the ball in the possession of the Moline Maroons. Katie with the ball. Still looking to get the ball inside, but front and back defense there. Stop, a little strong off the rebound that time by Hanson. Saves it, hustle. Good hustle that time. Girls were on the floor, Anna Broody, Broody that time, however, had a foot on the out-of-bounds line when they, both girls went for the ball. So the possession will still be to Moline, and Ashley Thomas will bring the ball inbound. Larson will set the offense. Alleman still man-to-man. -man. Thomas with the ball at the top of the circle. Resets again. 
She's going to lean in. Fires it off the rim, tries to follow it herself. It won't go. Beautiful rebound by Emily Weibo. And here come the Alman Pioneers. Oops. No, it's a three, but it's not going to count. It's not going to count. Anna Broody had a beautiful three-point shot go, but she traveled to get set for the shot. 48, Alleman, 41, Moline, 319 to go in the fourth quarter. The Maroons with the ball, chance to cut into that lead one more time. Hanson out front with the ball. Reset the offense. Coach Ford wants a timeout, probably a good timeout. We'll take a look at that, that uh, Moline huddle as the girls sit down. Sometimes, you know, you want to regroup. Sometimes you just need a little bit of a breather. They need to make one big run here, down by seven. And maybe it's just a matter of get a, get a quick drink of water, relax a little bit, make maybe a small adjustment on the offense. He's drawn a play on the board there to kind of set things up for the girls. And, um, and we'll see coming out of this. You know, you're down seven, 3.03 to go. So, you know, you're, you're in the ball game. You're going to have to get something out of this possession that will certainly help. And they're going to try to probably get the ball to the wing and then get something down in the low post in, into the lane there where Fournier can get a shot up close, followed with an offensive board or something like that. As we go over to the, the Alleman side now, which Hatch probably is, again, anticipating some of that. He's got the girls working real hard on on now, deny the ball inbounds. Make all of them make shots, make, make Moline make shots from the outside because that's, that's something they've had a little trouble doing tonight so far. And of course you got Fournier sitting in there with you know, 17 points. The next closest uh, point scorer for Moline is Jen Larson with nine. So those are the weapons that they're gonna try to get to and, Mo and Alleman's man to man. Coach Ford's trying to get the offense set up. Long skip pass and an unforced error. That doesn't do you any good. It down seven and 2.53 to go in the ball game. So all the X's and O's and arrows and dotted lines and everything else don't help anything when you, you don't get a good shot off, off of the offensive set. So Molay is going to go out to back, back and play defense, and the Pioneers now have a chance to, to, to pull away here in the fourth quarter, 2.43 to go. Broody with the ball. Going to have to take off. You can, as soon as you start dribbling, that five-second count stops. As soon as you pick it up, the five-second count stops. Moline, Nikki Hansen, blocking foul. I'll tell you, Nikki decided to go to the basket, and five-seven senior says, you, you know, you're going to have to cut me off better than that. Foul is on number 24 for Alleman. That's Je Jessica Seedham. That's her second. Ball is going to go out of bounds to Moline under their own basket. They've had a couple good shots off of their inbounds plays. They're going to get another one here. Fournier leans in, follows her own shot, does not get her offensive rebound this time. Pretty good look that time, but no points. 48-41 and a quick foul out front by Moline. That foul will go against Jen Larson. That's her third foul to go with nine points. So Maylene is a little bit of foul trouble. We're down to 218, so it's not big foul trouble anymore. Uh, Larson has four, or excuse me, three. Hanson has three. Fournier has three. For, for Alleman, uh, no one in that lineup at this point, and it's on the floor right now, has more than uh, uh, two fouls. So Alleman's in good shape and fouls. Moline's not in bad shape either. So the, the girls that started this thing are going to have a chance to win it or not win it. And Alleman calls a timeout. Nice smart play out there by Emily Weebel because she needed that or she's going to get a five-second violation. So we're going to take a break in the action here at 2.05 to go. 48, Alleman, 41, Moline. It's Western Big Six girls basketball. And we'll be back in just a minute. Well, we're back. Holloman just used the timeout there and maintained possession. Good smart play. As we come back here for Holloman, Noreen Hogan's going to take the ball out of bounds. Nice lob pass. That's a pretty good looking play there. On an out of bounds sideline, out of bounds play. What a beautiful play. Emily Chesser, the 5'10 senior, on that pass from Noreen Hogan, 50 to 41. 
Al Mole's got to speed it up a little bit. They need some, some points. They need it in a hurry. Thomas, shot will not go. The ball's knocked out of bounds by Moline. Marissa Lee was hustling after that ball, but, it, but she knocked it out of bounds. Nikki Hansen. Subs coming in. Nikki Hansen's coming back in for Moline. Megan Marlier's coming back in for Alleman. 1.47 to go, and Alleman leads by nine. And they have the ball inbounds. Marlier with Lee guarding her very closely. Uh, reach in foul that time. My number 44. That's Courtney Fournier. That's her first foul. She's had four points today, and for the freshman, she's doing a nice job. 5'10 freshman did a nice job. The next foul, the next foul will be one and one. And the foul this time, I think, is going against Fournier again. And it will. And the bonus is in effect now as Moline fouled very quickly with 1.40 to go. Larson comes, excuse me. Hogan comes back in, and Larson comes back in. 14 and 14. At the free throw line, four Alamans, Emily Weebel. She has 18 points, one and one. Make that 19. Coach Hatch wants, wants the girls to get out of the lane. Don't want to take any chances on a foul without the clock running a little bit. Very smart coaching move. And the free throw coming. On its way. And good. Weeble now has 20 points. 52-41, 11 point lead by Allman. And they're gonna to try to close this thing out and they still got a lot of pressure on that ball. Moline still having lots of problems finding the shot. Larson with the ball, great pressure out front by Hogan on her. Foul, ooh, Moline was looking for a three point play coming there but it's not gonna happen, but the clock is stopped. Foul's on by number 10, Megan Marlier. It's her second foul. Just a six-team foul against Alleman, but a two-shot play now for Jen Larson. Broody is in. And Sedum is going to come out for Alleman. 52-42. 52-43. Moline wants a timeout. They're going to change the defense a little bit. We'll stay right here for just a minute uh, as, as Moline takes that time out. Our leading scorers right now for Moline, uh, number 14 is Jen Larson, has 10 points, and uh, Katie Fournier has 17. So those two girls playing very, very well. Ashley Thomas has seven. For the Alleman Pioneers, leading scorer is number 44. That's Emily Weeble. She has 20 points. And then the other girls in the ball game right now, uh, uh, trying to get a couple things here. Next highest scores are gonna be uh, Jessica Seedham and Anna Broody each have five, the girls that are in the ball game right now. We're at 117 to go in the fourth quarter, a nine point lead for the visiting Alleman Pioneers. Looking to go five and four in the conference, 20 and eight overall. See if Moline can put on enough pressure with the girls they have on the court to save time, save some time on the clock. And ball's knocked out of bounds. They trapped on the sideline over there, and Nikki Hansen knocked the ball out of bounds. She did a nice job. 113 to go. Do you start fouling right now, or do you wait a little bit? There's a foul early. Foul's gonna go against Moline. On number 44, that's Courtney Fournier picks up her third foul. That's the eighth team foul against Moline. And to the free throw line for Alleman is Emily Weeble. One and one. First shot's on his way, rolls in and out. And Moline gets the ball back without Alleman scoring any points. 107, drive. Nice move by Thomas, gets her on board. 
Goes back up, follows it, and it stays in. Okay. Good officiating that time. Ashley Thomas gets the basket. The official thought that coach wanted a timeout, but he didn't. And the official made the correction. Quick foul that time by Thomas. And not many seconds run off the clock. It's 52-45, a seven-point ball game, 56.6 seconds. Right now, Allman's going to have to make free throws. As we talked about in the boys' game the other night, they don't have to make both free throws. They are in the... It's still one and one, looks like, right now. They're still going to have to make one out of two free throws. If they can do that, they'll wrap this thing up. First one is good. Weeble, six-foot senior. Shot on his way. It's good. 22 points. Weeble has 22 to lead all scorers tonight. 54-45. Thomas, a long three. Won't go, and a quick foul under the basket. Good re defensive rebound that time by Chesser. She's fouled, and now she'll go to the free throw line with a chance to shoot two. That's the fourth foul on Moline. Courtney Fournier is doing quite a bit of the fouling right now for Moline, but they've got to have the fouls if they've got any chance at all to get back in the game. For Courtney, that's her fourth foul. Emily Chesser at the free throw line. And that shot is good. The 5'10 junior. Second shot on the way. 10 point lead for the Pioneers. And the second shot is also good. Good teams make free throws down the stretch. And the Pioneers are a good team. Moline on the run. Long shot by uh, Larson. Won't go. We got a jump ball. Everybody hit the boards. And Moline will end up with that basketball, or excuse me, Allman ends up with the basketball in alternate possession. Anna Broody comes back in for Allman. And Marlier gets the inbounds pass and she gets fouled. A moment ago when Chester was at the free throw line, her two free throws gave her eight points for the ball game to go with 22 points by Weeble. Megan Marlier will go to the free throw line she has two points, but she's played a good game from the floor. Very good defensive player. Got the offense going, got the ball to the right people, and she sinks the free throw. Hogan comes back in. Offensive defensive switch is going on for Alleman. Second free throw on his way. Not good, but again, you only got to make, you only have to make one out of two right now. 37 seconds to go, Moline with the ball. Down by 12. Fournier, long three. I think she traveled before she got the shot off. I mean, that's, that's something you got to try, though. No question about that. For Mole, or for Alleman coming into the game, we got Katie King, number 32. Excuse me. Uh, Megan Johnson, number 32 for Alleman. Marlier with the ball out front. Moline, I don't think a foul again. Whoa! Megan Johnson, three-point shot, 60-45, 15 seconds to go. Ball goes over the bank board, and it's going to be Allman's ball. Megan Johnson just steps in the ball game, the 5-5 junior, and just buries a three. What? That's, that's a problem, she says? I think that's the way you want to run this. Megan Marlier is going to bring the ball down. And the horn, that ends a ball game. As Alleman plays strong at the end, builds a five-point lead into a 15-point lead here at the end. We finish tonight with the Alleman Pioneers winning a nice ball game by a score of 60 to 45 over the Moline Maroons. Moline goes to 18 and seven, five and three in the conference. Alleman goes to 20 and eight, five and four in the conference. And Alleman did a beautiful job. They, they, were, they, they, they showed that they're well coached as Moline is well coached. They came out and had a game plan to follow, and I think they did it. Big score tonight for Alleman was number 44, Emily Weeble. She had 22 points in the ball game. Uh, Emily Chesser had eight. 
Uh, and that was the top scorers for Alleman. The Moline side, the leading scorer was Katie Fournier. And last check, I think she had about 17 points and followed by uh, Ashley Thomas, who ended up with nine. Uh, well, we close out another broadcast here. Uh, we hope you had fun. If you have any questions or comments, why there's a number shows up on your screen every once in a while. But uh, uh, call it. If you have anything to, to, to add that we can do better on, something you like, let us know that too. But the nice ball game was, was certainly an outstanding game. Alleman comes out victorious. They won the sophomore game 34-32. And the varsity uh, pioneers come back and win the varsity contest 60-45. to there's going to be a lot of action with Family Ties Productions over this next week or two, so check your local listings. There's going to be boys games, girls games. We're going to see UT. We're going to see Moline. We're going to see Rock Island. We're going to see Augustana. So please, check your schedules. Thanks for joining us. This is a Family Ties Production, Western Big Six girls basketball tonight. For Jess Medina, this is Jim Sanders, and we'll see you next time.